Welcome to how-to videos from Bugspray.com. Today I'm going to take you through the application of Boracare. It's good for wood destroying organisms such as termites, carpenter ants, fungus, formosan termites, uh, algae, and a variety of other wood destroying organisms, powder post beetles, old house borers. I'm going to show you uh, how to apply it on something like uh, decking material. I'm going to apply it to this right here, just a small application. And then I'm also going to show you an interior application on some studs and uh, wallboard. So stay with me while I get ready for this application. Okay, for doing this application, there's a few things that you're going to want to have before you start. A measuring cup for measuring the product if you're measuring small amounts. A pitcher for hot water. A sprayer, obviously, to apply the product, preferably one with a fan tip. A bucket for mixing the product in. A mixer, and we sell a real nice one that's excellent for this uh, application. The Boracare, of course. A drill. Uh, a cordless one's nice because it's portable. The Turf Mark, uh, which is a die that helps you uh, see where you've actually applied the product. In some states, it's required for pest control operators when they're doing applications some protective gloves, protective glasses, and tape to tape off any outlets or anything like that that you don't want to get the spray on. Boracare is a very thick viscous liquid so when you're mixing this product it's a good idea to have on hand a mixer with a uh, drill and it's always a good idea to use very hot water if you have access to it to get this to go into solution. I'm going to pour it in here. Now I'm just going to measure equal amounts. As you can see it's almost like corn syrup. And I'm going to pour that into the sprayer, I mean into the bucket. You don't want to mix it in the sprayer because it is so thick it's very difficult to get going to solution when it's inside the sprayer. Okay. Equal parts of water. And then take your drill and mix. Okay now once it's mixed, the Boracare actually goes into solution. Uh, it's very much like mixing sugar in water. It just uh, totally goes into solution. So after a few minutes of mixing, you'll have this into a nice watery-like spray. And when you go to apply it, it should apply just like if you're spraying on water. Okay, once you've got your Boracare completely into solution, now you're in a position to uh, pour that into your sprayer and not worry about it clogging up your sprayer. And I like to use a fan tip sprayer just because it gives me nice even application. And also just one note, when you're setting this down, always set it down so that the handle's down and this part's not touching the ground. You can pick up stuff like grass clippings and such, dirt, and that will eventually clog up your sprayer. So try to always pay attention to that when you're putting stuff in your sprayer. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do a quick application to the decking outside without the die in it, and then I'm going to add the die and I'll do an application to this wall. Okay, I'm going to apply this in an overlapping motion. As you notice, I put a box here to block off the uh, foliage I have just on the other side of this door. I don't want to spray it. Boracare does have a, a borate in it, which uh, can kill a plant if it gets on it. So just uh, any plants or anything like that that might be in the area, make sure you cover them up. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, now the deck is completely covered and I'm going to move on to the interior application using the die. Okay, now I'm going to add the die to the mix. I don't want to put much in here because I don't have a full gallon, so let's put a dab or two in here. It should be more than enough. And once that's done, uh, you put your top back on, shake it up thoroughly. Again, the boric air and water is already mixed thoroughly, so this will easily mix in at this point with just a shake. Okay, now I'm going to apply it to the wall. Okay, for the interior application, I switched over to the brass tip. I felt like I was getting a little bit more control. I could uh, reduce the volume a little bit more. So I'm going to go ahead and do the application. As you can see here, I have the outlet completely covered in tape. I don't want any uh, insecticide going inside there and messing it up. So go ahead and just uh, do your application. And it doesn't have to be a heavy application, just a nice light application. Make sure you're getting both sides of the board. And the great thing about having that die in there is it's really going to tell you exactly where the product is. And you continue on, get the other side. And that's all there is to it. Uh, the label says spray it to wetness. It does not have to be sprayed to runoff. You can tell everywhere that it's been applied because the dye is in there. And that's all there is to doing a Boracare application. I hope you've enjoyed this how-to video from Bugspray.com.